Right, Cura team, I am back at base. Um, sorry to say I did not find a magazine uh, at either Lemborg or Borek. Um, and there was even a military spawn train in at Borek. And I got a grenade and I got a claymore, but I did not get a magazine for the VSS, which is fine. It is what it is. And um, I did find a gun cleaning kit, so it is all cleaned up. It is in better condition. Um, it has got one in the chamber because I found a couple of rounds, but that's all. Um, I'll find I'll find some more later. Um, so, what have I been doing? Well, uh, you can see here I'm, I'm dumping some gear. So, I've been thinking about my plan, and my plan is these two boxes right here. Box A, box B. Thing one, thing two. And um, in bringing them with me, and I'm going to carry one. And I'm going to bury one. Um, and I'm going to carry one in my backpack, which is going to make me unbearably heavy. But there's not a lot I can do about that. So, c'est la vie. So, what is the critical things that we want to take with us? Well, the critical things is what we've currently got on us. Um, except for this, these pair of boots. These are just work boots that are actually badly damaged. And I'm going to... I want my assault boots... And I want them repaired, but I've been unable in all of my travels for some time now to actually find anything resembling a leather kit. So it is November the 5th as I talk to you. So if you hear strange noises outside, it's probably the fireworks or the dog going mental. Um, so there you go. It is November the 5th. It is Guy Fox. Remember, remember. So... I've got a couple of days, so I'm going to I'm gonna scout around tower now, I'm going to see if I can get a leather kit, for crying out loud, without getting killed. Because if I get killed and can't get back here before the 7th, <laughs> I'm in serious trouble. Um, I think I should be able to make it back here. I, I'm not going to be going out anywhere on, like, the 6th. And um, where I live, in my neck of the woods... Um, two o'clock central european time is two o'clock in the morning so i have all day on the 7th um to um to do what i need to do in fact for me it doesn't actually happen until the 8th because i'm way ahead of everybody else uh but there you go so so i've got time so i've got time to do what i can do um so We'll be doing that, and we'll be uh, we'll be trying to get leather kit to repair our decent boots. Then I can ditch these working boots, and I can get these out of a crate, and I can put them on, and it'll get me some additional storage space and everything else. So let's have a look at what else we're carrying. So we're bringing the VSS, of course. We didn't go all throughout the Radunin to get a, a, a sniper rifle, and um, I've put a battery in the sights. And um, she'll now go up to um, 900,000 meters. She's got up to a full click. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I'm no good at aiming over a kilometer. <laughs> but, but there you go. So I've got it anyway. And if I get a magazine for it, hurrah, hurrah. Um, but there you go. And uh, you need to go into the tactical vest because I had everything organized. So... Um, I've got some necessities, a compass to get around, some ammo for the Tundra, because it's my go-to weapon for now. It will be replaced by the VSS when I get a magazine and some ammo for it. Um, that will become my sniper rifle, hunting rifle, everything else, and my crossbow will come, become my um, killer. Oh, that's something else I need to get. I need to get some, um, need to get some epoxy, because the crossbow is looking a little bit damaged now. Um, it's gotten in the way of a few hits um, with a couple of Zeds. Um, so I need to I need to get a epoxy for that. So I've got rounds. I've got medical stuff. I've got chlorine for water. I've got um, <clears throat> my map to get around. I've got my ammo. I've got some to make more ammo for the crossbow. I have a hoe because I'm going to need a hoe to build a base. I've got the claymore. Uh, like I said, a good thing to have. I've got one code lock at the minute. We'll talk about that in a minute. I've got my knife, my water bottle. I don't carry a pistol. Um, I've got a gas stove which has some chicken in it and some, uh, I think that's honey, possibly jam. Was it jam? 
jam and uh, two boxes of nails. Um, you can go back up there. I've also got two more boxes of nails. So that's four boxes of nails. That's plenty for, I think I might need two or three walls. I think three walls minimum is, is what I'm going to need, but I might need more. So it's a good start anyway, uh, three boxes of nails. Um, I've got one hacksaw in worn condition. I've got a partially used sharpening stone. Something else to look for while I'm running around torn up in the next couple of days. I've got two worn hand saws here. So three saws altogether. That should be plenty. One worn set of pliers, which is great because you only I'm only really using them for making fences. I've got my rope to make my fence kit. I've got my hatchet to chop down wood and also to build the fence. I've got another one over there. I've got some additional spare nails. I've got some more ammo. And I've got some wire. Um, so there you go. So that's um, that's 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 50 uh, in there. Um, and I've, I've already got 50 in there. Um, so that that's why I need to get those fixed because I need to I need to get I need to get a little bit more space. That's fine. The food is fine. I can take that with me and I can eat that. Like I said, I'm going to be around for a couple more days. No big drama. I'm keeping the ghillie suit because, man, I mean, I've not had a full ghillie suit um, and, and the ghillie top um, because I've not had them before. So I'm going to hang on to them. Um and see how far I get with that. So that's all the base building gear that I think I need to to get us started, you know? And once we get us started, uh, we'll be grand. So you heard me say, oh, what about two? What about three? Uh, there's a problem with that with wire in there. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna dismantle one of my gates before I leave um, on my seventh. And um, I'm going to take some extra wire. I'll, I'll see how we're going with space at the time. Obviously, if I've managed to get a couple of things repaired and sorted out, then I'll have some additional space. I'd like to get three bells of wire. I mean, I have found wire before. It isn't the rarest thing in the world. And um, for like this space, I don't need it for the bottom one to stop people jumping in because that's just a, a fence wall i do need one for the very very bottom gate and i do want do need one for another gate up here um and that's so i think as we said before if we're setting up a tower block we need to stop anybody from getting into our tower block and up the stairs and messing with our base i.e they could come in and put their own door at the bottom and lock us out that would be a bit annoying um we need one in a room so that we're hiding our stash in a room. So they get through one gate, they come up, they get another gate, and they're like, oh, another gate. Um, so that's so that's a minimum of two gates and one wall, I think. So that's why I'm planning on three. Two gates and one wall, like we did at the bottom. Got enough. I've got enough things to do that, but I will need another bale of wire, and I need, will need another lock. And I'm going to have to work on that because that's going to be a little bit tricksy, tricksy, shall we say. Um, something to work on on the day. But I'd like to keep my ghillie stuff if I at all possibly can. I've definitely got to keep Mr. Pumpkinhead um, because, because it's night vision goggles. Yes, okay, it makes my head bright orange and light come out of my head. But if we're ever going to get to the bunker, that's perfect. Never runs out. Never need batteries. Are you kidding me? What kind of a fool do you think I am? I would get rid of permanent night vision goggles. It's coming with me, man. <laughs> it's coming with me. So so that's it. Um, you know, and if push comes to shove, something will have to give. And I'll try and figure out what that is. I don't want to get rid of the KA. Um, it's in good condition and it's and it's a fairly good assault weapon. So if we do decide to go base raiding, we could swap this lot out for a KA and a VSS, and um, and we keep the tundra and the crossbow for.
for our daily grind, as it were, and um, um, and the KA and the VSS for special missions kind of stuff. And you know we've got our bag, and um, and we've got our armored hood and everything else. So that's it. That's that's the situation that I think we're gonna uh, gonna run with. So um, so that's probably all for now. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna offload a bunch of stuff and obviously keep it and protect it over here, um, because I'm gonna go out and go wandering around, and I don't want to get shot and lose all my stuff. I don't think anyone's gonna bother coming into this base. Um, because I don't think people are going to have the time and the assets to be able to do it, really. But if they do, they do. What can you do about it? Cry and moan? Probably not going to help. So, yeah, so that's the situation. So what I'll do is I'll be heading off and doing a couple of things, and I'll be calling you back in on my 7th, and it'll be late in the day on my 7th, but it'll be early on your 7th. And... Um, and I will be wrapping up here and logging off and swapping to a new server. Um, and I think what I will do to prevent anything hiccuping is I will move to the server and then save on the new server. So I'm saving my position on the new server. And then we'll know where we're starting from. And then when the server wipe, when the map wipe happens, we know exactly what we'll be doing, and we know how to do it, right? Jolly good. I will see you then. Hello again. Just um, just scouting around. Um, did I never notice this? There's a wood pile there. Now I've been running around, chopping down trees, waiting for trees to respawn, getting the axes and things, and there's a wood pile right there. I sometimes wonder about myself. Hey, <clears throat> the good news is um, I found a leather kit. I've repaired my shoes. Yee. I'm um, I'm just looking for um, for epoxy now, uh, which I don't really need. Um, it's only um, it's only damaged, not badly damaged, but um, I may as well, eh? Nothing better to do. So um, yeah, I'm having to snoop around in the rain, see what I can get. And I noticed that, of all things. Pfft. Anyway. See you soon. Cure again, cure again, cure again. Well, it is the 7th of November. Where I am, anyway. And um, and what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to carry on with my plan. So this place is all locked up. And good luck to it. It's all going to be wiped when the maps are wiped. Um, which will be some time away. We will not be doing anything else here and or on this map or anything else because what's the point? So we have um, we have a lot of stuff. We have some stuff, as you can see. Man, are we heavy. <laughs> but we have all of our basic lifeline necessities. We have um, some boxes of nails. We have a hammer. We have rope. We have pliers. We have sharpening. We have axes. We have code locks. We have hoes. We have hacksaws we have uh some uh magazines which I, I can't do anything with we have knives we have working clothes we have food in our gas stove we have a ghillie hood we have a ghillie suit we have another hatchet and in here we have even more stuff which um for some reason you can't you can't see um but trust me there there's there's other stuff there um it would be nice if we could see it but it doesn't yeah there's a uh, Pristine box, another mag, some more stuff, another code lock, and I think I think that's it. No, is there something else below that? There's no, that's the crate. Um, yeah, so we have some additional stuff in this crate, which is coming with us. This crate, this crate, we're gonna have to bury somewhere when we get to where we are going and where are we going well we're going to a different server and i said why we're going to a different server this server is dead it's um it's just not working well the dynamic doesn't play out i don't like it i gave it a try we explored we found out all the things we need to find out we had a bit of a nosy round um but it's, it's not 
it's not super interesting. So we're going to try another one, which is fair enough. We can try another one. That's the beauty of this game. Don't like the server? Pick another one. You don't have to become attached to one server. You don't have to just stay on the one server you tried. So we're going to try another one. And if that doesn't work, we may try another one. Although, to be fair, in our region, there's not a lot to choose from. So the plan is that we are going to change server. And then when the wipe hits, we're going to bury what we're carrying in our hands. We're going to take what's in our backpack and we're going to go and find ourselves a new home, which I think I want to talk about when we actually get there. So what I'm proposing to do right now is I am proposing to log out of this server, holding all of my things, and I'm going to log into the new server now and see what the state of play is and where we end up and try and maybe get myself into cover without getting killed um and then <laughs> and then um i will log out again holding my gear and when the new server stuff comes around by the time it gets to me um i can log back in and um, and see what's happening because i'm kind of thinking probably um a lot of people will probably want to jump on and have a look at things even just to mess about even if they're not serious players um i think a lot of people will focus on chinaris and wanting to get into the nwaf and the new nwaf so i think chinaris will experience a spike i don't think livonia is going to experience the same amount of a spike although there will be people who might check out chinaris and go oh yeah yeah okay and jump over livonia and go yeah nice guy um but i want to i want to check that out so what i'm going to do is i am going to log out from where i am and i will log into my new server and i will bring you back in when we're in our new server and hopefully we'll manage to get to cover before getting shot right see how that goes i'll see you in a minute Right, okay, I th I think I have a reasonable-ish clue where I am. Let's get into cover. We've kind of come out in somewhere that's that's pretty nicely covered, actually. So, these these fair trees over here are, um, are probably the nicest trees to bury stuff next to. So, what we'll do is we'll just, we'll stop here a second. And we'll just put our gear down. And we'll just have a look at our map. So what you saw out there is a bunker and another bunker and another bunker and a, a power line. And I would say Gleniska's over there. Let's have a look at the map. Let's have a look at the map and see what the map tells us. Right, where are we? Gleniska. To Paul and Gleniska. Gleniska, Gleniska, Gleniska. Right. I think... Where are these bunkers? Yeah, here we are. Look. Bunker, 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 three bunkers, there's, wait, there's a power line, bunker, 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 oh, we're just outside of Locale, there should be a bunker in the woods, back here. So I think there's a bunker back in the woods, back there, and um, and we're in Lucal. Uh which is good because because we're just outside Lucal. We are looking southeast. We really probably want to be going south, west. And let's have a look again, just double check. So if we are in these woods, we 
looking southeast. Yep. Sorry, we do want to be going southeast. We're just outside the blue route. The blue route would take us down to Brenner, the red route to Colin Brody, and round, and so on and so forth, and such like, and thing. So, yeah, so that's where we are. So we're here. We're in the woods outside Lukau. Uh, when you, it, it always dumps you in a freshy spawn when you move to a new map. That, that's obviously the deal, is that wherever you go, it dumps you in a freshy spawn. So we're up here amongst this cluster of bunkers outside Lukau. Which is jolly, jolly good. And now we know what we're dealing with. So, I will say so long. And farewell. And thank you for all the fish. And we will pick this up. So we do not forget it. And I will be logging off. And when I see you again, it will be um, 1.23. And we'll be starting a kind of a new season. It's going to be season um, 3.1, I think. Season 3, version 2. Um, season 4. I'm still thinking about that one. Um, season 4, maybe. Season 4. Um, but we're starting with stuff. So there's a bit of a different season. We're not starting from scratch. We're starting with stuff. And we're going to go. We're going to set up a base right away. And we're going to do some exploring again. And find out what is happening with this server which is hopefully a lot more fun things than was happening in the last one okay so that's it ta, -ta for now um uh, do drop a like do subscribe do feel free to drop a comment lots of people do and i'll see you all again in 1.23 very very soon ta, -ta for now PlayStation.